This is Samsung Galaxy S23 Fan Edition. And in the box you will have a smartphone, manual, starting guide, SIM card tool and USB cable. USB cable. The device itself is a bit heavy. Aluminium frame, size-wise, like Galaxy S23 Plus. Fingerprint sensor, fairly quick. But it had a problem with my other finger, which is unusual. Not other smartphone have that problem. For example, bam. It won't read it, which is strange. Of course, 120 hertz, a beautiful screen with a very thick bezels all around. It is powered by UI 6.0 and Android 14. CPU is an Exynos 2200 for the Europe. 4,500 mAh battery by Samsung, but this app showing only 4,370, which is strange. Display 450 ppi. And the camera, got it. But the camera on the front has that silver ring around it. I'm not sure if the camera can catch that, if we zoom in. It has that silver ring, which is very annoying. During the benchmark, temperature goes all the way to 40 degrees uh, Celsius. And I notice the sides, aluminium sides, are getting warm, very warm. 40 degrees. Almost. Very nice shortcuts. Let's see the benchmark. For the single car, 1603, and for the multi, 3932. What does that mean compared to the, any other smartphone like Galaxy S23 Ultra? It is a little bit below S23, just a tiny bit, in the realm of Z Fold 4. And in the multi scar, 3900, it's on the realm also. A little less than Z Fold uh, for a to benchmark, 1,030,000 points, which is temperature readout all the way to 44 degrees Celsius. But more important is the storage. And we do have sequential read for 1,814 and sequential write 645. Free zero, which is an old memory not the latest one, and this car is rather low. Tensi Impact, we do have a gaming mode, priority mode. Is it smooth? Mm, semi-smooth. See, we do, we do have a little bit of glitches here and there. Okay, run baby, run! Oh, did you see that glitch? Oh. Building speakers, stereo speakers, Dolby Atmos. All right, all right, calm down. This is a flagship sound experience. Very rich and powerful sound camera and in the camera department we do have portrait mode which is very nice you can go even wider if you wanted to 16 by 9 3 by 3 like, like you noticed there's a new menu you know, with uh, UI 6.0 it looks a bit different than in the previous modes photos also really nice but unfortunately the front-facing camera doesn't have autofocus which is very unusual for Galaxy S series all the S series has the autofocus and front-facing camera and this one doesn't have also 8k in the front facing camera only 4k uh, 60. Yeah. You can see 4K 60, that's all it is. No 8K, which is unfortunate. In the main lens, 8K 24 frames per second. Oh, there it is. There it is. 124 full HD. It's in the Pro video. You can switch also in the menu for high bitrate. Play around with your microphone, front and back, more level Bluetooth microphone. Very, very nice uh, features. So, super slow motion, slow motion, hyperlapse. Pro photo, pro video, portrait video, director view. Let me show you some samples. 
and there will be a link in the description for you to download original samples without any compression. Pictures a bit pinkish. This car, well, a toy, should be red and it's not. But the separation looks very, very nice. Pictures are okay, I guess. Nothing fancy, a little bit undersaturated, and red is not red. So, uh, yeah, maybe the next firmware will fix that. Also, selfies. Connecting Galaxy Buds Pro 2 was a strange experience because audio and video was out of sync. Maybe the firmware update will fix that. So what did we learn? And we learned that it has a beautiful screen. Let me change the wallpaper for something else like this one. I have to confirm it. It is quick. There you go. There you go. Very, very nice screen with the huge bezels. Decent battery. Okay performance but not a flagship performance what does that mean flagship experience let me show you for similar price you can have xiaomi 14 which is in benchmark twice more powerful twice that's what the benchmark says and the storage now that more than twice the ufes 4 are way way faster look at those scores 1600 and samsung only have 380 Battery life, and this is my yesterday battery life experience. Two hours, 37 minutes, but two hours, 12 minutes was the camera. It's similar to Galaxy S23 Plus because it's a similar size. Similar. Conclusion, this is the most powerful medium-range smartphone in the market. But if you want to go all the way for the flagship experience, link in the description for you and you will have a blast with the latest Snapdragon.